Okay, I just wanted to make a quick video demonstrating um, the Mobius on what I call my Jerry setting. It's because a lot of people, uh, I think, are wondering if it does this. And I don't see any videos demonstrating it, but I also see some posts online in places of people saying, it doesn't do it, it's not right. Um, I just kind of think that's not right if your hands are doing the right thing. So, this is a super simple setup, um, as far as what's on anyway. Uh, it's, uh, I'm going through an old Vibrolux reverb, so it's just like a Fender style thing. There's just enough reverb that it kind of peaks, uh, like pokes out when the envelope filter peaks. And, um, I'm hitting a compressor going at the SP compressor by Exotic, and then, um, it's going out, uh, through a JHS Prestige that's really just buffering. It's like a tiny, tiny boost. Um, so there isn't really a whole lot of tone shaping going on. It's a Jazz Master with a middle pickup, a middle strat pickup. Um, it's on the second position, so it's basically like a strat second position out of phase thing. Um, so I'll show you what it sounds like without anything on, and I'll kind of add one piece at a time and show you just kind of what I'm doing here. So uh, here's totally clean. Ah, I blew it. That was our wah. But I'll show you how the whole thing comes together. So here's totally clean. So here's the compressor, it's very little, just a little bit of thickening. Um, and then here is the prestige, I doubt you'll even hear it very much, it's just buffering out. So you do hear it, it's a cool pedal. Whatever. Uh, so, yeah, I just wanted you to hear, like, it's not exactly a Mutron, but if you're thinking about buying a Mobius, you're like, cool, I could have a Jerry thing, and you read online that it doesn't do the Jerry thing, I just hope you can hear, like, it's super fun, and it gets you really close. <laughs> Like I said, I think the main points to hit are the reverb that just kind of peaks out. Um, and again, I know that's that's kind of hard to hear because it compresses so hard in the iPhone. Um, but if I turn the reverb all the way off, you'll hear it's not quite the same thing. If I bring it in so that it's just kind of... Kind of pokes out when the envelope filter peaks. That gets you a lot closer. Um, and then you know that little bit of drive. The, the main thing is that the Mobius, especially because it's digital, is super responsive to how hard you're hitting it, and you have to really balance out your gain across the board. That's why I like controlling it with the compressor at the beginning a little bit. And then the volume of the King of Tone, if I turn the Mobius off, normally, you know, I'm a real believer in uh, 
an overdrive pedal needs to be louder than your amp for it to sound really good, and that's typically the case with the King of Tone. But again, here's off. That's on. You can hear I'm capping it just a little bit because I dialed it in with the volume knob with the Mobius. So it's kind of a different setting for me. The, um, the King of Tone would sound better if it was cranked, but uh, here, I'll show you. So here's the Mobius on. This is the same setting I played before. It kind of sings more. Um, and it doesn't it doesn't peak quite as easily. But if I turn up the volume to where like my normal kind of painted in settings are here on my King of Tone, you'll hear it smacks the Mobius faster and it doesn't do the same thing. It's a, a much quicker quack and it's not quite the same as the Jerry thing. Uh, it sounds good, but again, if I just bring that down a little bit, it'll open it up. It's that synthier kind of thing, and there's just like a perfect sweet spot where it'll quack out at the end. Probably hit it even a little bit harder than that. And of course you can do that with your volume control on your guitar too, I kind of work it as I play. Uh, but there you go, Mobius can sound like Jerry. Uh, buy it, it's a super fun pedal. It does a million things, it doesn't always sound analog, but once you're mic'd and a deaf sound guy is pummeling your sound into the ground, pumping it into the house, it doesn't matter anyway. So. Hope you enjoy that. Thanks. Bye.